everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, it's me, it's that P-U-L-S-3, and we're back with more Fire Promoter Mode here on Fire Pro, but I'm by myself this time. Tubby's not here, Johnny's not here. Tubby's had some issues, uh, Johnny's doing Johnny stuff, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. Uh, but we're gonna be kicking things off. I'm here with uh, the chat here, we're gonna be making decisions. There's no Tubby Ebu vetoing, there's no anything. It's just me, the community, we're making decisions now. At least for this week. Maybe Tubby will come back from his hiatus next time. But for now, it's just us. And we're making the decisions now. Uh, we have a couple of things happening on this episode. Of course, we have Los Singabanables Day North America. And we have Asses and Eights. And it's about to turn into a stable war here. But Asses and Eights needs to recruit people. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. Is Bully Ray recruiting people into Asses and Eights. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing this episode. Of course, our champions right now. I have the uh, spreadsheet open right now. If you guys haven't ever noticed this before, I just redid the entire spreadsheet. It's down in the description uh, on YouTube. Uh, I almost That was the old spreadsheet. I almost told you Big Bear was champion. I'm sure he will be by the end of this episode. But anyways, uh, Dalton Castle is our current champion. Naruto is our current junior champion. And Matt Robinson is our TV champion, which is... Uh, I don't know if anyone else on YouTube is doing TV titles in their fire promoter. I'm sure somebody somewhere in the crevices of hell is doing it, but TV champion Matt Robinson, we're doing it here on the channel. Now, without further ado, there's no pissing around here. Like I said, what we're going to be doing this episode is kind of making sure that Bully Ray can figure out who he wants to get into the group for asses and eights, so we can check who we got here. We want Billy Gunn and we want Kiara Hogan. Those are the two choices that we want right now for, for Bully Ray to get into his stable to try to fight Los. So it's a little bit of an issue because we don't have Kiara Hogan signed. <laughs> I think we can still sign somebody. Um, yes, I think so. Right? Yes. All right. Uh, right. Let's see. Where is Kiara Hogan? We're going to... Did we invite her last time? It's been a little bit. Is she already here on invite? I think she is. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> that means we can offer somebody else a contract. Who else has a fat ass? Didn't we try... Guys, didn't we try to sign Samoa Joe one time? And he said no. So I don't know... Because, you know, Samoa Joe is the original fat ass. I just don't know if we should do that. Because the last time I feel like we tried and he said no. Um, we also have a whole bunch of new people in here. I don't know how they got here. They just appeared. That's crazy. I don't, I don't know how they got here. Let's see. Um, do, do, who, who are we not? Oh yeah. Alexa Bliss. <laughs> Alexa Bliss is another one of the people we want to get in here. Um, let's see. Rikishi, of course, but I'm pretty sure we've tried to invite Rikishi too, and he said no. Uh, let's just uh, let's just make the card, and then we'll come back, and we'll see. I think we should be able to be okay. So we'll just go ahead and book the event. Normal matches. Um, the main event of today's show. I think what we should do is how should we how should we induct people into asses and eights? Should should Billy Gunn have to beat somebody? If so, should he be the main event? Let me see. Tubby wrote something down he wanted to do on this episode. I just got to find where he put it. Um. Oh, yeah. He won. <laughs> he, he succumbed to, to what me and, and, and uh, Johnny wanted to do. And uh, Hernandez is going to face Dalton Castle for the World's Heavyweight Championship. I'm actually going to include that on this episode. Hernandez, of course, of Los fame. My man. He's also in the group. Um. Let's see here. Configure title match. We'll main event this show. Dalton Castle versus Hernandez, which is down here. So there he is. Hey, Hernandez, what's going on? <laughs> I think Eugene was the very first one in loss to win a championship. So we'll see if Hernandez can bring the heavyweight one home. Eugene, of course, was TV champion for a minute. <laughs> then Matt Robinson took his ass out back. Um, let's see. Give him the headband. Should I give him the headband? That's true. We'll give him the headband. <laughs> He's really about to go nuts. Dalton Castle. Oh, I forgot Dalton Castle's about to get hurt too, dude. That's gonna be bad. Okay. Um, so now that we have the heavyweight title, let's uh 
Let's see here. What can we do? We have the TV title, which needs to be defended, but we won't put that back to back. We'll put the TV title probably there's fine. We can always switch it around here in a minute. Um, title match, television championship on the line, Matt Robinson, and we'll put him against... Do, do, let's see. Matt's kind of a... He's kind of like a lone wolf right now. He's not... I don't think... I don't think Big M's in any groups right now. He might be looking to start his own group. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Um, but let's see. Eugene, probably not because he just lost. We could give him a rematch, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, let's see the... Who's got the best record last three... Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot, guys. If you guys remember on the last episode, Triple H and um, Matt Robinson got into a feud randomly. So that's perfect. Okay. So uh, we'll do Triple H versus Matt Robinson. We should actually swap since this is an in-game feud. I almost forgot. Thank God I wrote this down. Um, we'll do Triple H and Matt Robinson in the main event because that was a feud in the game and that'll pop tickets a little more. Uh I'm just sure Matt Robinson is going to lose. That's going to fucking suck. <laughs> Triple H is going to injure him, and then we're going to lose him. Um, okay, let's see. We also want to do... I don't want to swap wrestlers anymore. Um, what can we do in between the two title matches? Um, let's see. Let's look at the card here. I know, it's the fucking WWE Invasion. We gotta come up with a name for the WWE Invaders. Come up with a stable name and Triple H will start that. Let's see. Uh, Win-wise. We can do... We can do... Mark Henry and New Jack. Who are you underscore you? <laughs> hey man, welcome back. <laughs> um, we can do Mark Henry and New Jack versus Bully Ray and Billy Gunn. That sounds good to me. Um, because they, they had that match before, I believe. Or no, it was Kira Hogan and uh, Bully Ray, and they beat Loss. Um, which is where, which is why I wanted to get Kira home. Maybe we go ahead and put Kira home back into it, but she already kind of proved her worth. We just have to sign her. She beat Loss. She beat Mark Henry and New Jack. Um, so maybe we do a tag team match. We put Bully Ray and Billy Gunn, and he faces. Maybe we maybe we do somebody different than Henry and New Jack. Why don't we Why don't we use two other members of Lost? Why don't we do because uh, they already lost to Bully Ray and Kira Hogan last week. Um, so why don't we do? Let's see. Hernandez is in the world title shot. We we'll probably put New Jack in there and Naito. <laughs> New Jack and uh, Naito sounds pretty good to me. That's a dream team, if you ask me. So, Billy Gunn is getting a chance to prove himself to Bully Ray for asses and eights. Naito and New Jack loss on the other side. We have Triple H and Matt Robinson for the TV title. We have Dalton Castle versus Hernandez for the heavyweight title as Hernandez tries to become the champion and bring that to loss. Um, we want to do something with Kenta Kobashi because he's coming off a big win. My man, the eats are falling in hard times. Hard so times? You don't know hard times, brother. <laughs> he's doing great. What do you mean? He's, he's, he's still in loss. Everything's good. All right, let's uh, get Orange Crush Kobashi and we'll put him against... Mm. Who do we want to put him against? He's coming off a fresh win against Naito. He's the new leader of loss. Maybe we put him against... Since he's the leader of loss, we'll put him against somebody from... from. Oh, well. Assassinates doesn't... Well, we can do Kira. Okay. <laughs> Where is she at? I swear to God. What? I don't understand. Did someone else invite her? Why is, did I put her in something already? Huh. Well, I was going to put him against Kiara Hogan, but I guess not. Yo, that kid. Welcome, man. Thank you for that prom. Go to the left. Oh, shit. You're right. Yeah. All right. Good. Cool. We also invited Abyss, apparently. 
Here we go. Kenta Kobashi versus Kira Hogan. Hell of a match. I think we'll open the show probably with the junior title on the line. We just got to figure out who he's going to face. Who is a junior on this card? Oh, Natsuki again. Jimmy. But no, we're going to give Jimmy time off. He's hurt as fuck. Is anybody else a junior? Abyss? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess uh, Naruto and Natsuki will do it again. How about that? Uh, well, but that's going to be at the beginning of the card. Right now, we need to worry about filling out the rest of the card. Is there anybody else we need to give a break to? And just because we can. Jimmy, for sure. Everyone else, well, there's a couple of people that are beat up, but Jimmy, absolutely. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Title match configuration, we'll do... Junior heavyweight... Natsuki and Jimmy Wang Yang. So, Natsuki. Um, what else can we do? Let's see. Baby Reigns and Eddie Guerrero. Big Bear. Mar Eugene's pretty hurt. We'll, we'll let Eugene not wrestle. Um, we can do Baby Reigns versus... Baby Reigns has been having a tough time in SAFW. Maybe we try to... I don't know. There's not a lot of easy wins here. <laughs> Other people... Maybe... Okay. Baby Reigns. We have Joseph Park on retainer. <laughs> Baby Reigns versus Joseph Park. How about that? That sounds okay. Um, and then we can do... Let's see. Eddie... Mm, do we do Eddie? These men, I'm telling you, I've already... The, the, the tickets are, are sky high right now. Fucking everyone's ready to go, man. There's no there's no stopping me anymore. I'm booking what I want, baby. There's no tubby here to stop me. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, Eddie, is ju Eddie just lost to Dalton Castle in his World Heavyweight title shot. So we'll put Eddie in the opener. Well, actually, we're going to put the junior in the opener. But Eddie against... Eh, let's do Mark Henry. Why not? We'll give Mark Henry a chance to go against the former number one contender. Um, swap. We'll put Natsuki there. Naruto there. Baby Reigns in Abyss. Eddie and Mark. <laughs> that's so lit, dude. Why the fuck isn't that? that, that that's incredible. I love it. That should, that should be a thing right now. All right. I think we're good. Now we just gotta mess with the, uh, make sure everything's good here. Absolutely not, KJ. I'll refund that. <laughs> I don't want that bitch ass dude in here. You kidding me? Let's see. Oh, we're turning the music on, too. Actually, we're, we're, okay, so from now on, from now on, we are gonna put the, uh, Main event as Spinning Panther. <laughs> From now on, the main event is always Spinning Panther. I'm changing things around here. SAFW is for the better, brother. Defaulty Boy. Welcome. Thank you, man. Appreciate that prime. Now, um... Let's see. We'll keep it on roll. Large haul. Oh, we're selling out, brother. Damn. 20 bucks. 60 bucks. Oof. Damn, really? Huh. Do we do full house? What do you guys think here? Let's see. Um, like I said, I think the rest of these are on 150. They should be, at least. If they're not, then farts. <laughs> that sucks. Um, let me make sure that Abyss is a showman. I believe he is, and that's why we were even using him in the first place, but I just want to make 100% sure. Yeah, okay, good. So he should not no-show this event. Um, I can check. Large haul, $20. No, $10. <laughs> 30,000 people! 30,000 people! <laughs> I don't know, man. I'll be, I, I would be lying if I said... I would be lying if I said that that number doesn't uh, intrigue me quite a bit. We, I might want to do this. I'm just saying. 
just because Tubby's not here and we'll never, ever get this opportunity ever again. But I'm going to keep it safe. We won't we won't go too crazy while Tubby's here. You know what I'm saying? We'll keep it a little safe. Why not? Um, but other than this, this looks like a good-ass card to me. We're ready to go. Um, I think I have... Yeah, I have the spreadsheet open, so I might have to keep up with this stuff. I'm just going to, like, loosely keep up with this shit. Just write notes or whatever. Tubby wasn't doing it for the last couple episodes anyways. He just gave up on it. <laughs> I had to go in and do it. I had to go in and do it afterwards anyways. All right, so I think we're good. I think we're going to keep it here. Someone's probably going to no-show, so I don't want to run, like, a super huge venue with less money and then blow all that shit. So I think, what the, I think the play here is to just keep it as is, and we'll call it a day. Um... I think Kiera is also showman, just making sure. Smile. Smile. Oh, wow, I did it, too. Look at that. Hey, welcome back for 19. Thank you, man. Smile. Mm. All right, we're good to go. Is Kobashi a showman? Um, it doesn't matter. He's signed, but I'll check anyways. I guess he's a strong. Maybe we put it to strong. Actually, Kiera's the showman. What should we do? Kiera's a showman, but Ken is strong. Do we keep it as showman just to please Kiera since she's the invite and Kent is signed, so he'll fucking do it anyways? You will do it, brother. You will do business, or I will do business for you. I think we keep it as is. Yes, I need someone to make Leo Onozaki, dude. I have Nick Gage downloaded. I just need Leo Onozaki. That's why I'm hoping that Nuclear Bummer, when they come out with the, the stardom stuff, that he decides to do the characters that they didn't do. Like, I don't think they're probably... I don't know if they're going to do Saya Ida or, or Leo or whatever the case may be. He should definitely do those. Anyways, we're good to go. Let's get this popping, boys. Confirm this. Let's go produce some merchandise here. Let me get some of them snacky poos. Let's see, how many people do we have? 10,000? Do we go with 5,000 snacks or 3,000? Maybe 5,000? Probably 5,000. We have a 10,000 house. Yeah, I'm gonna just go with five. Um, we'll get ourselves 1,000 t-shirts. 1,000 towels. Give me some goods. Showing love from work. It's bread making and bread earning time. Cheers, brother. Crack a monster open for me, big dog. Bro, you already know that I've been sipping on Boomer Juice all day. Ah, long. You already knew where I've been. <laughs> Thank you, man. That's, I, what are you, like, uh, in between putting shit in the oven right now? It is out of control, man. A true connoisseur of bread. Let's see. We probably... Uh, should we keep... Mm, should we get more photos? I will get more photos. DVDs, action figures, whatever. We'll keep the same on that. All right. Uh, I think we're good other than that. We actually didn't use too much money this month. It just If, if all, all goes correct, correct, if all goes correct, we should make out pretty damn good this month. Uh, I have tried Bang. I actually like Rain a little more. I don't know if you ever tried Rain before or not. Um, let's see here. Do, do, do. Okay. All right, boys. Let me make sure to save just in case the game crashes like that one time. It scares the hell out of me every time. All right. Scouts good? Yeah, I think I, we still got Scouts out. Because I remember last time when me and Johnny were talking. Yeah, they're still... It looks like... Well... No, <laughs> they came back. You're right. Should we even scout anybody, though? I mean, I just kind of insert people scouted without doing this. Does this? I don't really want to send Shin bitch out. <laughs> he never comes back with anything. It's just a waste of money. I'm just saying. Uh, do, do, do I really need to scout people? You know what I mean? I, I, I'll do it for you. How about that? I'll do it just for you. He'll come back whenever. Uh... I'll send him on a 12-month escapade straight to hell, brother. Bring me back on Dross and don't come back unless you got her. How's that sound? Oh, shit. I forgot. Damn this program all to hell. Why don't you just click OK? There we go. OK. There. 
Yeah, get your asses out there. Like I said, let me say before we do this. Okay. Proceed. All right, chat, energy. Come on, no no-shows. All we have is fucking Joseph Parks and Kiara Hogan. If Kiara Hogan no-shows a match with Kobashi, she cannot be in asses and eights. Because I, I, who would no-show that? Well, maybe she wants to live to see another day. Who knows? I don't know what her reasoning is, but don't. Yes. Fuck. I forgot about this. We could have ran. I think we could have run that shit. Yeah, whatever. What, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. even if the hindsight was literally five minutes ago, and I said that this was going to happen. Anyways. <sighs> Success! Woo, baby. Let us get it, boys. No no-show, full house. I'm just saying, hey, by myself, with the boys, things turned out pretty good for our first show so far. I'm just saying. Just keep that in the back of the head, okay? All right. Now, um, how do we want to do this? Do we want to watch? Remember, because I do have limited time today. Well, not it's not like super limited, but I do have a kind of a limited time. Um, do we want to watch every single match, or do we just want to watch the ones that like truly matter to all of us? I mean, that's up to you guys. We could probably pump out more events if we don't. But like I said, that's up to y'all how I want to do it. The ones that matter. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, do you guys... Okay. Well, then I'll ask the chat as we're doing it. Um, I feel like we should watch all the all the uh, championship matches always. So, if you guys are cool with that, I'm going to do that. Sean Stasiak of Planet Stasiak? I got to look, I gotta look on uh, the workplace and see if they got it because that would be... Uh, that would be something. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. We're good to go, I think. Got this, got this. Okay. Just making sure I got all this set up correctly. We are good to go, boys. Pop it. We got the junior heavyweight up first. It's Natsuki! Natsuki? What is Natsuki's win loss? Let's check real quick. Natsuki is. Doo -doo -doo. She's one and two in her last three matches. She actually doesn't have a positive win record, but she did have that comeback that was pretty damn good. I mean, she lost pretty much all her initial matches against Naruto. So we'll see if she can bring it back and win it here. Naruto actually beat Natsuki on the last show. He came back to the junior division. If you remember, Naruto went to the heavyweight division and was heavyweight champion for like one show before Big Bear came back and slapped that ass. And that's just how it went. He came back to the juniors. He's kind of like Will Ospreay. <laughs> Naruto is Osprey. He's bringing his sword. All right, let's get this match underway, baby. Okay. The arm drag pin. That's just completely disrespectful. I mean, Natsuki has beaten Naruto at least a few times. Oh, the shooting star straight off the start. Big Lariato. Oh, damn, she ain't playing. I thought she was going to straight to the top row. We've seen her do that shooting star press before. Pile driver from Naruto. Natsuki not out just yet, though. She's got that big, meaty neck. Oh, I thought she was going to go for something off the top rope, to be honest. She had him in the corner. A Memphis fist drop. Jerry Waller is shaking. Natsuki with the fist into the body slam. Oh, rings of Saturn. What the hell? <laughs> She's out how to do that. I know how to do a headlock, though. Oh, my goodness. She was just swinging those lariats, bro. Out she goes. Look, man, we're doing... We're, this is New Japan-esque junior booking, okay? We don't have that many damn juniors. We're doing what we can. We're doing what we can here. A big power bomb is not the no bully bomb, though. Usually she transitions straight into it, and she does the no bully bombs. She gonna be able to pick up the... Oh, my God, the disrespect. Too close to the ropes, though. We do what we have to do. We do what we can. We do need to sign some more juniors. You are correct. I, I agree with that. So we'll look into that after this after this show. We'll look into a junior to maybe invite or try to sign. Cross leg fisherman buster, but Naruto said no. 
shooting star press Natsuki down. Oh, and we go into a strike contest, boys. Oh, good lord! And then the shoulder tackle. Do a dive. Do a Sasuke special, Natsuki. Do it, you coward. Good lord! The deadlift German! Running power slam, but Naruto's back to his feet in second. No! <laughs> Damn this man! Damn you, Naruto! Why do you do such things? Every time! Big spear! Oh, no. And a spinning back kick rings of Saturn. That could be it. No, Natsuki fights out. Oh, Rasengan! And a Toshi kicked out! They face each other so much, I mean, you gotta come to assume that she knows how to get out of that move now. Atomic drop, down goes Naruto. He's saying he's number one. Ichiban Naruto. Poison Rana! And the Rasengan again, pinfall, and I think... Naruto will defend his junior championship one more time. Of course, he had to drop his nuts in her mouth on the way there. I don't know why he continues to do that. One day, Nazi's just going to have some sort of lawyer show up to our front door, and I'm not sure what to tell him. Yes, our junior heavyweight champion likes to drop nuts in her mouth. I don't really know why. He just does it. Okay, Naruto versus Natsuki was 92%. 9 minutes 51, or 15. Um, and Naruto continues his newly found streak in the junior division. My man's doing his thing. The ace of the juniors. He has the most, I think he's the most winningest character in shitty as fuck wrestling. I think that, I think that literally just put him as the most winningest. So that's, it's pretty nuts. All right, save. Uh, Baby Reigns versus Abyss. Skip that, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I actually don't know that information. If um, Natsuki has won when Naruto teabags her, that'd be an interesting statistic. That would be an ESPN Sports Center statistic. Yeah, I have a bunch of save files. <laughs> All right, we'll skip it. <laughs> Dog, baby Reigns cannot win. He cannot win anything, dude. Are you kidding me? All right. <laughs> Baby Reigns continues to disappoint as he can't even beat a fucking lawyer. Oh my God. What if Joseph Parks was Natsuki's lawyer? 6,000 IQ. Okay. I'm about to write that down. She is going to hire him as her help. <laughs> All right. That's going to be her, her fast track back to the top of the junior division. Now we have Eddie Guerrero versus Mark Henry. We'll probably skip this one also. I mean, Eddie's fresh off a loss, but he was coming back. And then Mark Henry is just kind of chilling and lost right now. So we'll skip this one too. Oh, Mark Henry, a 95%. Picked up a big win. Law's doing it down big. Maybe Eddie should look into joining one of the stables. 95%, 11 minutes, 5 seconds. Loss picks up a win. Yeah, maybe Eddie should look into... Well, he ain't really got a fat ass. Maybe we start eating some more and he'll be alright. Uh, no, we're definitely watching Kenta Kobashi versus Kira. <laughs> the second... Okay, so Kira's kind of already in asses and eights. But we just don't have her signed. So, like, the second we can sign, actually sign her is when she'll go into Asses and Eights. So, technically, it's kind of like Lost versus Asses and Eights. We just don't don't have Kira signed. Um, yeah, but we're absolutely watching Kobashi versus Kira Hogan. <laughs> Why would we not watch this? Yeah, and Kiara can go for the Junior's Belt. You're right. That, that works out perfectly. Asses and Eights straight into the mix. Hey, buddy. Yeah, bring up the asses and A's, brother. One fall to a finish. Come on down. Five. 
Ref James is the officiator this evening. And oh my goodness, he's already getting the upper hand on Kenta Kobashi. He's going to watch his back. I don't think he's ever experienced ass cheeks on a level like this. Center of the ring. Body slam from Kiera. Oh my, he said, oh, wait a minute, we got a dick measuring contest. Kobashi said, look at this. Oh! <laughs> 200 IQ. Kiera going straight for the wiener of Kenta Kobashi. A sentence I'm not sure I expected to say today, but yet here we are. Oh, Orange Crush! Two. Oh, no, it's going to be it. Big Lily pole. Oh, the spinning back chop! Back kick. Kiera's got to catch up, man, because it's about to be bad. It's about to be bad. Aneno Fudabashka! Wait a minute. Snap suplex as Kiera looks to get back into the match. This is definitely not a good idea, but I, I'm going to leave that up to you. Good lord. Get down from the top. Big guillotine leg drop. I thought he was going to go for the pin, to be honest. See, what he should have done for the guillotine leg drop was just fucking slam his ass on her head. Another orange cross from Kobashi. 2.9. What is she gonna do with her ass cheeks? I can see her, she's revving them up. Good Lord! Oh no, he's back to the top. Moonsaw from Kobashi, but he's too close to the ropes! Wow, the extra surface area from Kiera's ass cheeks allowed her to get an orange crush from Kobashi though, as he looks to put her away, and a two count again! How is she fighting out of these? Up he goes in the corner now as Kiera looks for a suplex. Kobashi gonna send her to the outside. Do a Sasuke special, you coward. Three, Not on the outside. No! Oh, Orange Crush to the floor! Who is it? Again? Ah! Oh my God. Three times? Did he, he, he picked her up. He picked her up so he could beat her ass in the ring again. This is the devastation of loss. Ass cheeks! Oh, burning hammer! I think that's all she wrote for Kiara Hogan, good lord! She put up, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna keep it real with you. She, she did a good job. She, she kicked out of like, at least, I, I, someone might have a number for me. She kicked out of, a, of at least, Four orange crushes. Which is quite an impressive feat in itself. Kiera's a junior. Okay, this is completely different. I'm pretty sure Kobashi's biceps today are bigger than most of Kiera Hogan's entire body. Except for her ass cheeks. I'm just saying. Kenta Kobashi versus Kiera Hogan. 74. I feel like that was more than 74, but I'll leave that up to the game to decide. Uh, let's see. Kobashi versus Hogan. Kira kicked out of a ton of orange crush. Yeah, we're definitely going to try to sign her. This man, like, took... This, <laughs> can we talk about how Kobashi took her to the outside, orange crushed her multiple times, and then got her back up just so he could use the burning hammer? Kind of extra? But you know what? I cannot question Kobashi, because... He's Kobashi. All right, now we have the heavyweight title on the line. We have Hernandez and Dalton Castle. I truly do not know how Dalton Castle even got to this point because he spent most of his time losing. Probably my last month as a sub for now. That's cool, man. I think on Twitch you can come back and it just picks back up wherever. So, you know, it's all good. I appreciate the three months that you've been sub though, dude. You should get, yeah, as I'll say, you should get a new championship, at least for the time being. Uh, yeah, listen to Moose Blood. Let's see here. Uh, Hernandez versus Dalton Castle. I did save, right? So we can just get right into this. Here comes the man himself. Headband, a gap. This man is ready to go. Look at this man's damn beard thing. Incredible. I have a very similar one. You know what I'm saying? Hey. My icon, Hernandez. 
Here comes Dalton Castle. Somehow spent most of his time losing. Yet ended up as world's champion because that's just how this game works sometimes. We'll see if Hernandez can take him down and bring the heavyweight championship to loss. Kenta with a big W. I think Kenta might be starting to get... We'll, see, we'll, we'll put Kenta in one more match before we give him a big title shot, I think. Uh, just to see how his three-match uh, record will be. And then after that, we'll give him a title shot. I don't know. If you guys want, we can give him a title shot next show. But that's up to you guys. We'll see how things kind of play out. Especially if Hernandez wins the World's Heavyweight Championship here from Dalton Castle. Remember that Castle's also a little hurt. I mean, and when I say a little, I mean, he's quite hurt. <laughs> oh, damn. Hernandez got up for Dalton Cat. Yeah, this dude is definitely hurt. He's definitely going to have to uh, figure out some sort of game plan here that involves him not taking a lot of moves. And as we saw in Hernandez's last match, uh, that border toss comes out of nowhere, and I'll be damned if he doesn't use it a ton. So, Just a one count. As we're still kind of feeling each other out. He knows he's hurt. He already got a two count off of just a shoulder tackle. They, I mean, he hasn't done very much damage. He's just going for Boston Crabs. And yeah, he's still getting some counts. It's pretty impressive. Oh, a bulldog from Dalton Castle, the old school. Oh, here we go. I told you it comes out of nowhere. Border toss from Hernandez. He doesn't even go for the pin. What the hell? <laughs> oh, my, the spinning border toss. Is that going to be it for the world's champion? In and out, four minutes. No, 2.9. Holy, another spinning border toss. Uh, that could be it. Four minutes, 46. It is. Is that the quickest match we've ever had? That's got to be damn near close. If that is not the quickest match we've ever had. Hernandez. Wow. It's not. I just looked. I just saw it. We had a draw that went four minutes. That might be the quickest match where we've actually had like a finish. Because we had a draw that went about four minutes. But that might be the quickest pinfall we've ever had in SAFW. We have a new heavyweights champion, people. And he wears a headband. Loss has brought the world's championship home. Okay, so I think that maybe we don't have Kenta go for that right away. Just because out of respect for Hernandez bringing the title to Loss. So maybe Kenta goes for the TV title. But like I said, maybe we also have him, I don't know, uh, try at least one more win next week before he goes for any of the big titles. Um, let's see, Hernandez versus Dalton Castle. I think it was 447, 63%. Hernandez decimates <laughs> Dalton Castle. That sounds good. No, no, hold on, hold on now, hold on now. You don't just do Kenta versus Hernandez all willy-nilly. He doesn't go straight into that. Come on now. There's, you got respect for Super Max, okay? He's got, they both have respect for each other. You can't just go ahead and slap it off like that. Um, we're definitely giving Dalton Castle some time off, though. Jimmy, I don't know. He might be good, depending. We'll see next show. Uh, but we're definitely giving Dalton Castle some time off. So just keep that in mind just in case I try to book him next show. Because I, I don't want to. Because he's just, the dude lost like four, he's fucking hurt, you know? He had that big run, big title, and then he just got hurt. Um, we'll skip. Actually, I don't I actually don't want to skip this because I want to see how Billy Gunn does against Naito and New Jack. What do you what do you guys think? Because I mean I, I mean I will skip it so we can get a Triple H versus Matt Robinson for the TV title. But I do want to see how B Billy Ray and Billy Gunn work together in Asses and Eights. Yeah, we're gonna get a third faction. Um, I think what I was gonna do was either. Um, Triple H with his WWE stable where he just gets a bunch of people from WWE um, or I was going to do something with um, Natsuki and Joseph Parks which we still could when we could have four stables I mean you know yeah we'll, do, we'll watch this show that's fine we'll watch this match I guess is the better way to say that huh? here comes Bill Gunn he likes asses and his partner, Bully Ray, the leader of asses. And their opponents. I, I would say king of the streets, but I'm pretty sure Big Bear is still the king of the streets. <laughs> he beat New Jack. And Tetsuya Naito, who is in full LIJ attire. And here we go. Bully Ray had quite an interesting career. He came into SAFW and then uh, he was firing off early with a bunch of high ratings, but then he kind of fell off a little bit before he started Asses and Eights and 
Now he's looking to regain that composure. That spot at the top. I don't know if New Jack... <laughs> New Jack might not be too interested in coming in. I mean, it isn't a hardcore match. There's no landmines. There's no light tubes. Uh, there's no scaffoldings. He might just want to chill on the apron and let Naito do the wrestling. What's going to be the bluff with the stables? Uh, I'm not sure. I think we'll figure it out when we get there, you know? Right now, I'm just focusing on getting the stables, uh, getting enough stables to make it interesting. Uh, because I think it's, I, I think having, I don't even, I don't even know if we really need a big blow off for the stables. Um, we can just kind of, sur you know, start surrounding the promotion with stables. Do you think you can make the main event a one-on-one deck match? I mean, the industry is in an uproar. <laughs> I should run, we should run like one show where where every match is like landmine death matches. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Dude? Should we do that? I mean, I don't think there's any negative effect to us doing that. We just pretty much just been running normal events. I don't know if I don't know if we if that's like a negative thing or not. I guess we'll have to see. He took a bite out of Billy Gunn. I'm surprised he didn't bite him in the ass. Oh wait a minute, Billy Gunn, power driver to New Jack. I'm surprised he didn't gig already. Just make the singular match a death match. Uh, well, I, I kind of want it to be a, a straight singles match for the TV title. I don't even know how to do that with a mod. I'd have to look into it. I haven't really seen. I haven't really seen how to do that. Sorry. <laughs> I, I don't look too much into stuff like that. Oh wow, he came in the ring. What's Bully about to do? Of course, he has a shoulder tackle. Uh oh. I thought maybe, ooh, he's gonna tag out. Billy Gunn's got blood though. Good Lord! <laughs> I thought he was gonna send Bully and Billy out. I was gonna say, damn, I don't care. Mr. Jason though, with the Prime sub, welcome man, thank you for that. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing, brother. Oh no, went for the drop kick. Billy Ray gonna move out of the way. Punch the midsection as New Jack looks on, wondering where the light tubes are. Damn, could you imagine if there are scaffolding matches in this game? Spike. You know what to do. <laughs> Damn, that would be sweet. What the? Look at the... Did you... What? Working together? Asses and eights? Uh-oh, wait a minute now. Bully Ray and New Jack. You know, New Jack's never been a big fan of Team 3D. I just want to, you know, make sure everyone understands that information. They have kind of some bad blood. New Jack was never big on the boys. So you never know when he might break out here. Oh, you see a little stomp in the back of the head? A little disrespect shown by New Jack. Oh, of course he's gonna- <laughs> He tagged out quick! Oh, 3D to New Jack! Wow, I've never- I haven't even seen that move in this game! That was sweet as hell! I was just talking about that too, that's crazy! Billy Gunn drags out New Jack, right out of the corner. New Jack trying to throw some haymakers. From behind. Oh, I thought I thought he was gonna go for like a backdrop driver or something. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Ooh, tags back in. Look at the constant rotations. Naito coming in now. Oh, I thought they were gonna go. I didn't know it. they got him from behind. I've never seen. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do a double team from behind either. Oh, wait a minute. New Jack's got the chair. <laughs> I knew his ass could not go this entire match without getting a weapon. I knew he couldn't. Who's even the legal men anymore? Is New Jack legal? Well, they're back in the ring, so that'll work out. Where's this man going? Drop kick sends them both to the ground. They both are looking a little tired. Oh, Bully Ray, pile driver to Naito. They are cutting off the ring. Naito's getting his ass out of there. Oh, big double lariat! And New Jack got the floor! <laughs> Rep James is not happy about that, but Billy Gunn's already busted open. Nick at 100 bits. Okay, yeah, I'll check that out for sure. Uh, Golden Ace, also welcome. Thank you for the prime sub. Very nice of you guys today. I appreciate all that. Billy Gunn picks up New Jack into the corner now. What the hell is Bully Ray about to do? Oh, wait a minute, New Jack, from the top. Oh, a big 
Jack Lariat from the top goes New Jack. Bully Ray fighting back. Maybe going for that bubble bomb. No, he's not. He keeps going back to the front. Bully, use the bully bomb. The bubble bomb. The billy bomb. Use something. Because if you don't, he's going to get your ass beat right here, man. Naito might be looking to end this. Oh, we got a strike contest between Bully and Naito. Drags him out from the corner. No, Bully Ray going to reverse back in. Cutting off the ring once again. Double team. What the? Oh, the assistant pile driver. Naito is reeling. Wow. They are really doing. He said, look at my ass. What in the farts? Down he goes. That's not going to be it. Naito back to his feet. Tags back in New Jack. New Jack's going to dive. <laughs> oh, he's got the chair again. I'm protecting that shit. This is a blood feud between loss and asses and eights. Death Valley driver on the floor. They're both out cold. The count out. And New Jack's out. Wow. Did he get knocked out on his own Death Valley driver? New Jack, please. Please, New Jack. He's so dangerous. And the winners. Asses and eights. Asses and eights. <laughs> I guess that's Billy Gunn. Hey, I think Bully Ray liked what he saw. I think it's safe to say that uh, Billy Gunn is in the mix. Let's see. 84%. 1951. Ring out. New Jack <laughs> knocked himself out. <laughs> <laughs> this man this man did a ring out and then told him to suck it dude that's fucking the most asses and eights thing I've ever seen in my life alright what do we got here Triple H versus Matt Robinson television championship on the line boys this is a big match the big feud we'll see what goes down Big M coming off a fresh TV title win Triple H has just been I mean the man's record speaks for itself I'll get you the exact record right now Triple H is 12 and 5. He has the second best record next to Naruto in the entirety of SAFW. That's nuts. So we'll see what happens here in this TV title match. Remember, we got new we got music in the main event now. We're changing things up. Things are happening here, man. Who do you guys want to come out this as the victor, man? Who's gonna be your reigning TV champion? What should we call Triple H's WWE stable? And here comes the TV champion himself, fresh off of Eugene ass beaten. Big M, who worked his way from the bottom, because I'll be damned if he didn't show up and just start. He shit in the bed early. I didn't even know why we signed him. And then all of a sudden, he became the man. The wild card. Oh, my God. <laughs> the wild cards. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Oh, he went for the kick straight off the start. He's wasting no time. And now he's full mounted on Triple H, throwing the forearms. Ooh! That's just pure strength from Triple H. Drops the knee to the back of Big M's head. Goes for the spinning kick again! Remember, Big M's got the pedigree himself. It, uh, I can show you my blood settings later on if you need them. Triple H dragged out Big M. Maybe penalty kick. I don't know what he was maybe going for, but Triple H goes straight to the nuts. We've seen the evolution of Triple H over the last, what, 18, 17, 18 shows. We've seen the evolution. Triple H started out pedigree and criticals all around. And now Triple H, I think he's starting to get scared of the competition. He's starting to go to, to, to low blows and roll-ups. I think that's a rope break. No, Ref James says no, but the pedigree gets kicked out. I mean, I'm not surprised Triple H kicked out of his own move. Oh, Triple H off the top. Big King Kong knee. Look at that. Uh-oh, wait a minute.
Triple H is going to try to kill him. Ref James, come on now. You can't be just choking people straight up. Pay attention. Pay attention, man. Get your... You don't want to scuff, you don't want to scuff the forwards up. I understand. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Northern Lights into an arm bar. Triple H going to drag him over towards the turnbuckle. No, Big M gets out of the way. I mean, Big M is obviously inspired by Triple H back in the day, but we're not back in the day anymore, big man. A kick to the back of the head only gets a two. Triple H, I saw that midsection kick. I think he might have been going for the pedigree, but Big M scouted that out and got it out of the way. Very smart. Oh, the... You know he means business when he brings up the delayed vertical suplex. Just a two. Down he goes. A big kick to the back of the head. He's going to pick him up one more time. Another kick to the back of the head. He knows what needs to be done, but Triple H, he is straight up. Good Lord, Ref James, pay attention. You're going to make this man die here because you're not paying attention. Oh, he went for the spinning kick, but Triple H said no. Nah. That Northern Lights in the arm bar one more time. If he can work on the arm and make Triple H tap out, then that's best case scenario. It's going to be hard as hell making him stay down for a pinfall. I'm going to tell you that much. Big midsection knee. Backdrop driver by Matt Robinson. Uh-oh, Triple H. I was going to say, Triple H, what, you, you get a little crazy? You get a little crazy crazy? A little too wild? Thought maybe he was going to die. He ain't that desperate yet. He's Triple H to the floor with a kick. Goes for the spinning kick one more time. Triple H center of the ring. Pedigree to Matt Robinson. Is that going to be enough to put away Matt? And it is! You cannot deny the statistics. The results. Triple H is your new TV champion. He put away Matt Robinson like it was nothing. Wow. I'll be damned if Triple H didn't take over. I think this is a good time to start Triple H's stable. The wild cards. <laughs> oh, wow. Jesus. 88%. Triple H in full control. Young boy Matt. <laughs> That's the notes for that match. I think it's time. Let's see, we had an 80% average card rating, which I believe 80% is the bare minimum for su a success rating. So I think that ended up being okay. We had a full house, no no-shows. Things turned out okay. Hernandez. <laughs> Hernandez won the uh, heavyweight belt. Triple H won the television belt. Naruto keeps the junior belt. Ooh, over capacity. Great success. Flawless show. Let's get it, boys. Let's see what we got. Ooh! Oh, give me that money! Yes, sir. 1999 Triple H would have ended him in 10 seconds easy. Oh, easy. And if you want to talk about 2000 Triple H, where my man was wearing small Baby Gap black t-shirts on a regular basis, you would have no chance. Star wrestler Allen has joined COG. Allen? Oh, no. Look who has returned. <laughs> and he's got, a, he's got that jacket that Dean Ambrose wore for like three weeks. Oh, no. He's a big shot now. The network wants to broadcast our product. The network? Who is the network? Okay. CBS affiliate must perform an event every month. Could it be? <laughs> Goku is back. And uh, I, I, I said we put him in the Triple H joint. Must perform an event. Is this a good deal? Is this a good deal, boys? The local CBS affiliate. All we, have to, we already perform a show every month, anyways. So this is our first ever network deal. So I think it's probably not bad. Hollywood Goku. <laughs> he comes in with the jacket and the glasses. Uh, man, I don't know if you can edit people once you put them into fire promoter. I don't know if it carries over, but I would definitely put like a jacket and glasses on Goku. 
Our events will be shown via local CBS affiliate local. We got our first TV deal, boys. Shinagawa Takahiro was unable to... F oh, you son of a bitch. I was like, who is this? We don't have anybody on the roster any of that. Boss. Boss baby. The boss baby is waiting outside? Salary? Well, we have to do anything possible to sign the boss baby. Wait a minute. Are you talking about baby reigns? Is Baby Reigns really going to hold us up for money when his ass hasn't won a match in goddamn near three years? <sighs> These dudes, man. These damn wrestlers. All right, let me let me see here. Broker contract. No, that's not it. That's a consultation. All right, where's... Where, where? Baby Reigns. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, we'll give you a $100 raise, yeah. Now I'm sitting your ass at home. Sit your ass at home. I'll bring you in for the main event shows on the local CBS networks, you mark. That's what you get, brother. All right. So let me go into... Let's see here. Doo -doo -doo. Is it manage? No. Human resource. Manage stables. Create new stable. The wild cards. Long name. The wild card. I haven't signed anyone yet. I'm going to get Kiara Hogan. This is what I'm going to do. Oh, son of a bitch. Damn it, dude. All right. Hey, get out. <laughs> no affiliation, Triple H. Damn. Um, Timmy's not signed to anything. Uh, do, do, do. And Goku. Create new stable. <laughs> the all caps. The wild cards. <laughs> all caps. Perfect. That fits this stable exactly. Triple H is the leader. Goku is in it too. He's back now. He's good. The wild cards is ready to make pro wrestling history. They're creating a lot of buds. Okay, now we have to change to, let's see. Uh, Billy Gunn will head over to Asses and Eights. He did a damn good job. We have Triple H and Goku in the wild cards. Billy Gunn and Bully Ray in Asses and Eights. <laughs> Everybody else in loss. Bear, oh, Bear's probably one of the biggest, like, unsigned names. I don't know. I don't know what to do with Big Bear. Um, Baby Reigns. Baby, yeah, we could put Baby Reigns in the wild card. You know, we'll do, we'll do a, this show, we'll, we'll put Baby Reigns, and since he wants more money anyways, we'll use Baby Reigns this show, and uh, we'll see if he can fit in with the wild cards with Hollywood Goku and, uh, <laughs> Hollywood Goku and Triple H. We'll see if Baby Reigns could fit that mold for the wild cards and pick up, uh, pick up a W, which he hasn't done in quite a damn while. We'll see how that works out. We're going to put, uh, Dalton Castle, we're not going to book him, so... Bear is Sting in WCW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until, you know, Sting joined NWO anyways. Thanks, Eric. All right, now let's return. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, we will... I guess we should offer the contract. Kira Hogan. I don't think they like us that much. Are you sure about that? And we'll go 13. Well, I'll be damned. Looks like she didn't want to join asses and eights after all. That's a damn shame. All right. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Kiara Hogan is... I guess maybe after that ass beat, maybe she's retiring from wrestling after Kobashi just slapped the cheeks off of her. I mean, that was quite the ass beating. I'm just saying. Um, let's see. We can do, 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 do. What can we do? I'm trying to figure out what we can do now. We can invite. We need a junior to face Naruto because our junior division is getting pretty low. We can invite Pac. Um. An all animal stable with Red Rooster and the Golly Cooper. That sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's awful. Unless you're talking about adding uh, bear into there, then maybe, you know. Invite stardom people. Okay. You want to have an exhibition? All right, who do you want the exhibition to be between? Ken. <laughs> oh, he's got the oh, he's got the deal, dude. He's got the Falcon Arrow finish. Who should we invite? Ken. That's my dude right there. We do need a junior though, so maybe I do invite Pop. Wait, is he a showman? No, he's strong, but we can get Naruto to work strong. Okay, so we'll do... Okay, so Hannah's finishes the big boot, even though it probably should be the octopus hold, but that's fine. I guess maybe they don't have her exact octopus hold. Um... Okay, she's got Peach Sunrise. So we can do Moma Freestyle Show Me. Yeah, that might actually be tough. Mm. King's Road. <laughs> yeah. Um, if we're going to invite Hannah, we got to invite another showman. Just, we could do Mayu, I guess. Or Nasu. I'm just saying. Okay, let's just see how this works out. Good. Oh, actually, okay, I've read that wrong. I thought that said 46,000. I was like, <laughs> the freelancer deals. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um. No, nah, no, nah, we got money. All right, so we got Nasu on this card. We'll see if we can get Hannah. Sheesh, bro, what the fuck? What you think, just because you went to ROH for a little bit, you think you big deal now, huh? Oh, big deal. You crazy, huh? Yeah, whatever. I'll do it for the people. Whatever, I'll do it for the people. Alright, so we'll have that exhibition match probably towards the main event spot. Um, For the junior, we need a showman junior to face Naruto. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't need to be. We could put strong, I guess, but... Well, we'll try and buy pot. Ah, oh, my bad. I should have known that you weren't going to fucking ever leave Dragon Gate. We just want you to lose. Just lose. All right, let's see who else we got here. Uh, North America. ACH. Oh, I guess Avenger updated the ACH created character to... Jordan Miles. I'm like, who the hell is that? <laughs> who the hell is the Jordan Miles? Um, doo -doo -doo. So you want me to like Pete Dunn? I see a strong junior. The bitter end. Is the bitter end even officially in this game? I don't think so. Nope. He's not going to work either, boys. Uh, da -da -da -da. Jungle Boy. Big John. I'm going to try and invite Sasuke. <laughs> Sasuke! Dude, you are the worst. You suck. <laughs> I hate you. I cannot believe this. You still won't sign. Um, I'm going to invite Rod. Alright, we got Roderick Strong, dude. Roderick Strong. Big Roddy will be in here. All right, big butt light man. Let's uh, let's make sure I got everything I need. I think we do. So, um, Roddy for Naruto. Triple H's new stable. Dalton's not going to be wrestling. I think we're good. Do we need any? Forty baby week. Yo, this man got forty months on deck. God damn! Welcome back. Thank you, man. God damn, forty. It's a big number. Um, let's let's bring someone in. Ah, no, I don't want to bring in too many people because I don't want to risk a no show. I was gonna say let's bring someone in for Kenta, but maybe we can do make it happen without doing anything. All right, so we all right. Second to last match will be. The invite stuff, so we'll do 
What outfit she got? Oh, <laughs> I always want to, but we'll keep it up to date. I'm playing promoter Aaron and Punk, and Brian just won the WWE tag title. Well, CM Punk, dude, he quit wrestling, dude. He's a quieter. Let him go. Let him go, dude. All right, we got him there. Um, I almost want to book Kenta in the main event, but if it's not going to be for the title, then might as well not do it. Um, Hernandez is fresh off a big win, so maybe we'll put Hernandez, who is still pretty much good, with the headband, of course. Maybe non tight Who do we put him against? Maybe we do a non-title against a returning Goku, but not for the main event. Maybe we do that, like, here. Returning Goku gets a shot at Hernandez. Doesn't sound bad. Um, we're obviously also going to do title match. We're going to do junior heavyweight Naruto versus Roderick Strong. Okay, we'll put him in there. That should be pretty good if he shows up. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't open with that. Maybe we should put that down the card a little bit. Just, just to make sure. Um, put that there. Okay. So Junior will be there. Hernandez versus Goku. Hannah versus Nasu. You think we should do black hair, Goku? Okay. He'll get his, his, uh... Proving Ground match against Hernandez. We'll see if he can bring something to the table. Uh, TV title on the line this week. We'll probably main event it again just because Triple H has just been dominating. I don't see why not. Uh, Triple H... I guess we should go ahead and do that. Who should Triple H... Who should face Triple H for the TV title? Um, what were we going to do with Baby Reigns? He was going to do something. He was going to have his tryout match. Baby Reigns is going to have his tryout match for the wild card. So we got to figure out who he's going to face. Um, maybe Baby Reigns versus Goku makes more sense than Hernandez. But oh, I want to do a Proving Ground match. Shit, maybe we just put Baby Reigns in a TV title match against Triple H. And if he can even last X amount of minutes. That's enough. That doesn't sound bad to me. It's kind of like a beat the clock challenge almost. And if he wins the title, then fuck yeah. But I don't know. Uh, you know what? Fuck it, dude. I can't. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Kenta! <laughs> All right, we're putting Kenta in the main event with Triple H. He's putting it on the line. All right, we're going to have Proving Ground, Goku, and Hernandez. Um, junior heavyweight on the line here for Naruto. Some new fresh meat in the arena. Kobashi versus Triple H television title. We have an exhibition from the Stardom Girls. I eventually would like to sign a lot of them, but... You know, we got to get to that point. Um, we will do... Let's see. Since all of the wild cards are technically in matches, we can do... Baby Reigns versus... Baby Reigns versus... Mark Henry. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be Baby Reigns trying to prove his worth versus losses Mark Henry. That sounds good to me. Um, because I want to do... I would like to do a... Maybe try to figure out a number one contender position right now. Maybe we do a tournament. Maybe, maybe next show we start off a tournament for a number one contender tournament. Yeah, maybe we do that next turn, next episode. Um, New Jack wants his revenge against Bill. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, so we'll do New Jack versus Billy Gunn. Oh, he's bringing up. Oh, he's bringing up the pink joints. Baby Reigns versus Mark Henry. He's trying to prove himself to the wild cards. We'll see if he can pick up a W there. Hernandez, Goku, proving ground match. I mean, if Goku can beat Hernandez, then he's easily number one contender. We don't have rematch clauses here in SAFW unless I randomly say one week that we do. 
<laughs> Rules only matter in context to how I want to tell the story, damn it. Let's see, what else do we have? Um, I want to put Big Bear back in the mix. I don't want to bury anybody on the way, though. I say we give Matt Robinson a week off because he's fucking hurt. Matt's hurt. Dalton's hurt. So Matt and Dalton will give a week off because they're just super hurt. Um... Well, no, we already have, um, we already have New Jack versus Billy because of the way the last match ended on the last show. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do a tag team match or not. We can do Eugene and Naito versus... Do I want to do that? Hmm. Maybe we have Eugene and Naito versus Big Bear and Jimmy, who are... They're not... They're not signed. Like, they're not signed to a stable. Because I want to get Big Bear back into the swing of things. And I like to get Jimmy Wang Yang, who's kind of fallen out of place, too. Um, Timmy's still on excursion. He won't be back for a while. Well, actually, he might be back next show. I don't remember how long he was out. Um... Yeah, okay, we can do that. That's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. So we need to go back. We'll open with a tag match. We can do Naito and Eugene. Naito and Eugene. And they will face off against a pair of lone wolves. Big Bear... Jimmy Wang Yang. <laughs> the Lone Wolves. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's definitely like we're definitely building to loss in Asses and Eights. We just got to get Asses and Eights some more members, which is the big thing we have to do. So um, hopefully, Baby Reigns can show off a little bit in his Mark Henry match and we can add uh, him to the wild cards and then we can figure out the situation for Asses and Eights since Kiara Hogan didn't want to join. And who do we look into next for that? Because Samoa Joe won't join. Kind of in a situation for that. Maybe we need to work on adding more eights instead of asses. Maybe that's the, the deal. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me check also just real quick who we got left because we don't want to work Castle and we don't want to work Robinson. We have Natsuki, Eddie, and Bully Ray. Mm. Live Laugh versus Asses leads to an eight-man elimination tag team match. Yeah, yeah, we could do that for sure. We just got to get enough people in asses and eights for that to happen. Um, let's do. Is it, who's the most hurt out of these three? Bully's next hurt. Natsuki's next hurt. Eddie's a little more hurt. Maybe we just do Natsuki. This was the very first match I think that Bully Ray had one. It was Bully Ray versus Natsuki. I don't. I think it was, or they did it at one point. I don't remember what it was for though. I could probably look at the sheet and tell, but... Okay. I think we're good. I think we open the show up with a couple of these matches. As we get back down the card, New Jack looks for his revenge against Billy Gunn. Baby Reigns takes on Mark Henry to prove himself to the wild cards. Hernandez and Goku. Goku in a proving ground match. If he can beat Hernandez, then he's the number one contender for the World's Heavyweight Championship. Roger Strong coming in to try to beef up the junior heavyweight division uh, versus Naruto. We have a stardom exhibition match. Hannah Kimura versus Natsu Sumire. We have Kinta Kobashi versus Triple H main eventing for the television championship. Doesn't sound like a bad card to me. Yeah, I mean, we could definitely get Naomi too. I actually don't have, do I have Naomi in here? I have to look. I don't think so. Um, doo -doo -doo. Maybe we go to American Urban. Whew, good lord. <laughs> Damn, there's a lot of people. Okay, um... $40, 15000 Doesn't sound bad. At least I don't think so, at least. Go yeah, we didn't. we lose a lot of people. I'd rather sell out. I mean, we could do this. She calls it the rear view. You're damn right she does. Uh, let me make sure the main event. Yeah. 
Okay, make sure that's good. Okay, I think everything's good. We're almost about to fill out the card, which we I don't think we've done yet. I don't think we've ever f filled out the whole card. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do 15,000 sellout. Do we even need the TV commercial to sell out? Yes. Eh, well, barely, but yes. Uh, all right. I think we're good here. So I'll confirm this. Let me just make sure I got all the matches. Is the junior? Yeah, junior's on the line. Television's on the line. Heavyweight's not. Hernandez just won it. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's go, boys. Let's just make sure I purchase my merchandise. Damn, we sold out of, like, everything. Okay. Uh, definitely going five. Well, we have a 15,000 sold out house this time. Things are a little different. Um, do we go 10,000? Nah. We didn't sell out of snacks last time with 10. I think we'll sell out. I think we'll just go five. Um, we will definitely get more t-shirts. Get more towels. Get more photos. Get more goods. We love goods. We will also get, why not, Blu-rays. People love DVDs. <laughs> People love the DVDs, man. All right. I think we're good to go. Make sure it's safe just in case it crashes or whatever. All right, boys. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure we can, but I'm still a little finicky on behind stuff. So maybe eventually I won't be so scared to buy merchandise. Okay, I think I got PTSD from the damn no shows. <laughs> Energy! I need it! <sighs> no no shows, dude. Yo. Too easy, dude. Too easy, dude. Notice how nobody's no showing when Tubby's not here. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Yo, we had two subs back to back. We had Leto, 34 months. That's a big boy month right there. And Nahavo with his prime sub. Welcome, man. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. A lot of people are coming out with the subs today, man. It's really nice of you guys. Let's hit this save. We'll skip Natsuki versus Bully Ray. It doesn't really have any uh, real repercussions to any stories we're telling, so we can just skip that. Ring out. <laughs> well, I'm glad we skipped that one. Seven minutes, 34. No, no real notes on that. Just a, just a match to have something on the car and sell more tickets. What is next? All right, Naito and Eugene versus Big Bear and Jimmy Wang Yang. You guys want to watch that one or skip this one? See the lone wolves in action? <laughs> the lone wolves. Uh, <laughs> these guys are lone wolves, so they become a stable called the lone wolves. So they're not lone wolves anymore. All right, we'll watch this one. Eugene grew his hair back. You guys remember last time when he lost the TV champion? Well, when he won the TV championship and he lost, he had the ball in. Grew his hair back, and Naito's out here. He's taking it a little more serious this week. Jimmy Wang Yang, no Dickies though. Jimmy felt like he was relying too much on the Dickies. Wants to prove himself otherwise. And the King of the Streets, Big Bear. He can always defend that King of the Streets title too. Just keep that in mind. Now this is this right here is a goddamn PCW classic. Big Bear and Naito, dude. That was a big feud forever on PCW. And what can I say, man? They were destined to do this forever. Oh, Eugene came in. But Big Bear is just gonna, he's just gonna take out everybody. Oh, he's taking a bite out of crime, Eugene. Clipping. <laughs> what is Big Bear doing at the top? Big Bear Splash! This man is out of control. Eugene comes in, big double drop kick from loss as Naito humps his leg. Off the ropes now. Oh, Eugene's gonna get the upper hand on Big Bear here. Slaps the piss out of him and Big Bear is not happy. Picks Eugene up off the floor with his bare hands. A big slap sends Big Bear off the ropes. 
Goes for the back elbow, but Bear said, nah, you good. Bitch slaps the hell out of Eugene and humbles him really quick. Eugene's got the bear up for the suplex. Of course, you're going to need a little more than a suplex to beat the bear. I'm going to tell you that much. And in comes Jimmy Wang Yang, former junior heavyweight champion, TV champion. Jimmy's done a lot in this company. Throws him straight to Big Bear. Small fireman's carry there from Eugene. Eugene's quite a wrestler. We've seen it before. Off the ropes. No, Jimmy's going to answer that before he can even do the move he was thinking about doing. Up he goes, Eugene. I don't know what he was trying to follow up with. Jimmy's going to drop the leg. Big arm drag off the ropes. Jimmy with the single leg drop kick. Dickies or not, my man's gonna bring the heat. Back and forth, and they're still going. Jimmy gets them, but uses all his energy, and now he's gonna tag out to the bear. Very smart. Naito coming in. Jimmy putting down both of them. Eugene getting dragged out, and Bear's going to town. What is Naito doing? Ref needs to get Oh my god, my man is straight up on the leg. Nuts on the leg, dude. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Double suplex from the Lone Wolves. They're actually doing a pretty damn good job together. I'm just saying. What is this? Oh, my God! The back suplex into the neck breaker. I love seeing all these double team moves. I don't watch tag team matches that often, so it's really cool to see people working together. Nida really wants the bear's leg. Big splash from Jimmy Wang Yang, and then a splash from the bear. They're, uh, they're working together so damn good. I'm just saying, oh, Destino out of nowhere, and Eugene picks him back up and claps him. Oh, and another Destino. And the Eugene bottom. What a sequence from the us. Wow. The guillotine from Eugene. I can't believe the match didn't right there. Damn, that was brutal. Center of the ring. Bear's going to tag out to Jimmy Wang Yang. Big drop kick. Big super kick from Jimmy Wang Yang. Into the corner now. Bear watches on as Jimmy goes to town to Eugene. That sequence was crazy. Oh, did you see Bear? He's revved up. I'm pretty sure Eugene won a match. I'm pretty sure he won the damn championship with the Eugene bottom. I know we definitely saw him win with the stunner. So if he brings that out, Jimmy Wayne is going to have to watch out. Off the ropes, back body drop. He's tagging out to Bear. Everyone's in the ring. The Big Bear splash on Naito. Eugene trying to come break it up. Didn't need to. Naito able to kick out. What the hell is Eugene doing? Maybe looking for another Destino, but it's not going to happen. Big bear, big fist to the back of the head of Naito. Jimmy Wang Yang rolling through. Eugene coming to break it up. Big bear and Jimmy are quite a team, too. Both these, these are actually fucking, they're working together. I can't believe that both these teams are working together as they are. Oh, wait a minute. Eugene Pedigree! And he's wilding out! Shoulders down, roll through, not going to happen. Oh, the Eugene Stunner! Is that gonna be enough? No, Bear's able to get in. The Bear Slam. The Fireman's Carry is Eugene. What are you doing there, man? You pant like a damn dog. What's this dude doing? Roll through, shoulders down. Big Bear to the top. Big Bear Smash! Ref James calling it right down the middle. No bias. Well, I was about to say, what are they doing? What are Naito and Ju Wang Yang doing? Bear with the power bomb into the Big Bear Splash! Dropping the leg on Jimmy Wang Yang. Bear, the splash on the Naito body slam. Eugene looking to follow up. Big stunner to the Bear! Is that going to be enough? Jimmy Wang Yang gets in the ring to break it up. Oh, he hit the wrong person, but he was able to kick out. And the br Look at this! Airplane spin and Big Bear swing! Oh my god! Into the airplane swing! What is going on? This match is out of control! Wow! Naito! Down goes Bear, in no cells! Back and forth, what a match! Spinning heel kick back to back! Both men are down! 
Jimmy's calling for the end up to the top. Yang time on Naito. Is he going to get the pin? Eugene in for the save. Big Bear going to be able to stop him. He does. Jimmy Wang Yang and Big Bear pick up the W. What a match. I did not expect Jimmy Wang Yang and the Bear to team and do that well together. Good Lord, 100%. Guys, I think we make an executive decision. You know, I think that we have to, Big Bear and Jimmy Wang have got to become a team. I think we make an executive decision. Fucking hell, dude. That's probably the greatest tag match I've ever seen in this game. This is <laughs> I couldn't even keep up with half the shit that was happening. I was trying, man. I was trying to keep up with it. It was just difficult. Meltzer will shit himself when he hears about this match. <laughs> That's true. Well, actually, Johnny Gargano is not in it, so maybe he won't. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Yeah, I think we definitely need to get some tag team belts in here. There's, there's that's two things I want to do. I want to get tag team belts, and I want to get um, you get tag team belts, and I want to get a number one contender tournament. <sighs> Sheesh. I'm so glad we watched that match. That in insanity. <laughs> Absolutely insanity. All right, now we got New Jack versus Billy Gunn. Um. Before we start that match, I'm gonna go blow my nose real quick. I'm fucking, I, I literally wasn't even breathing during that match. <laughs> Whew, all right, I'm back. Absolutely insane. Whew. All right. New Jack versus Billy Gunn. How many more matches do we got on this card? We got quite a bit of matches here. Um, it's getting close to 545, so we might not be able to do another show. Um, we m it depends. Do you guys want to watch just... Do you want to watch this match? New Jack versus Billy Gunn or skip it? This is this does have repercussions from last week. So, I mean, maybe, maybe we should watch it. Skip. 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 Okay. We'll skip it. <laughs> Dude. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Another ring out? This isn't done. New Jack and Billy Gunn is not finished. <laughs> that is not finished. I don't know how they got another ring out. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, Baby Reigns versus Mark Henry. I do want to watch this because this will dedicate or this will show if Baby Reigns is going to join the wild cards or not. So I want to watch this one. So that's what we're going to do. That's not over. Like, Billy Gunn and New Jack, dude, that's not over. There's no way that's over. Dinner. <laughs> there is no way that's over. It's good because it gives us continuing stuff to put on the cards. Put him in the cage. Hey, we could. I just got to figure out how to do the mob thing that he said to do. Bye. Here we go. This is Baby Rain's Proving Ground match. Yeah, I don't even remember the last time Baby Rain's won. This motherfucker been losing half his life. Mark Henry dwarfs Baby Rain's. Look at the girth of Mark Henry's head. Insanity. Baby Rain's has to prove himself tonight, whether it be through a fantastic 100% match or a win. If he wants to join the wild cards with Triple H and Hollywood Goku. Up he goes. Mm -mm -mm. Sidewalk slam from Mark Henry. Baby Reigns. Look, he's look at the speed. Look at the speed of this little man. Look at this little midget go. Look at that. How did he pick that man up for the atomic drop? Oh, I thought he was gonna go for the world's strongest slam already. Two minutes thirty in. I'm gonna say Baby Reigns ain't gonna make it that far. Power slam from Mark Henry. That's a lot of beef coming down on you, big man. Wait a minute, out goes Mark. I thought Baby was gonna fly. 
not gonna happen. You got a big new salary, baby. You better go ahead and get crazy. You better go stupid. Absolutely bonkers or something, man, because you're getting that new salary, too. We'll see if the money the mo the money motivates Baby Reigns here to get the W. I mean, joining the wildcards alone should be enough, but we'll see. Down he goes. Goes to the count. Nope, just a one. Baby Reigns with the suplex. Down goes Big Mark. He's got him near the ropes. I don't know why Baby Reigns is playing so close to the ropes unless he's got something playing from the top rope. Who knows? Go for the big meaty arm back and forth. A big bruiser match right here. Mark Henry and Baby Reigns. Up to the top he goes. Baby Reigns gonna dive with a Memphis fist drop. Body slam to Mark Henry as Reigns is keeping him close to that turnbuckle. Maybe he thinks the key to success here is that Memphis fist drop from the top. Who knows what he's got planned. <laughs> Into the corner. Oh, he drops an elbow on him. Okay. Diversifying, baby Reigns. Oh, and the world's strongest slam. That's probably it. One, two. Oh, 2.9. Baby Reigns actually kicked out. Uh-oh. World's strongest slam again. That. <laughs> He kicked out again! Okay, okay, okay. Baby Reigns showing some meat sauce a little bit, okay. Triple H is watching with his eyes wide open, okay. Pretty sweet. This man, Mark, using all of his size. Sidewalk slam to the back of Baby Reigns, but he's getting right back up. He likes punishment. He's a glutton for punishment. Off the ropes. Oh, underneath, but no. Mark Henry just straight up stopped him completely. Oh, it looks like Mark's getting tired. World strongest slam again, but Mark is too tired to go for the cover. Baby Reigns escapes. Tilt a world slam. Running power slam from Big Mark. Oh, baby is out like a light. Eliato. Down goes Roman Reigns. And he's trying to make him tap out. Will he fight through the pain for the wild card's position? He continues to do so off the ropes. Big power slam. He's throwing up the horns, baby. Mark Henry's going to give him his all. Oh, wait a minute. Leliato. Running power slam of his own. This is turning out. Hey. Henry's gassing himself trying to put away Baby Reigns. And Baby Reigns is answering right back. Jesus Christ, but these are really going to start taking effect here. Power slam from Baby Reigns. Oh, dude, he almost stole it. He almost stole it. Off the power slam. Off the ropes. Tilt to world slam. Baby Reigns picks him back up. Big forearm. Mark Henry off the ropes. Using his body one more time. Baby Reigns backbreaker. Back and forth, Samoan drop, and out goes Mark Henry. Baby Reigns getting some time. I don't know why Mark Henry on the outside didn't use any of his damn time to, like, get some energy back. Because <laughs> now this is, the Baby Reigns is ready to go, man. He's compact. Sit out, powerbomb from Baby Reigns. Is that enough? No, 2.9, Mark Henry. And we are still not there yet. Superman punch, but we might be now. Atomic drop from Baby Reigns as he drags Mark Henry out, stomps him in the head. A running power slam, back and forth we go. Mark looking for the suplex, not gonna happen. Both men are out 15 minutes into this one. Sidewalk slam as Mark looks to finish this up. He's got somewhere to be. Applebee's is the place to be, and that's where Mark's gonna be after he gets his three count. No, just a 2.9 again. Big body slam now as Reigns looks to take the upper hand. You can see he's breathing pretty heavy, but Mark's got to be breathing a little heavier. Pulls him out for the quick pin. That might be it for Reigns, but he answers again. This means everything to baby Reigns. This is all he's got left from the top. Big lariat from the top rope. Henry's up first, but you can tell he's gas running power slam as... Reigns goes back to the top, maybe waiting for him to get back up again. Another Larry out of the corner. Baby Reigns with an elbow drop, but Mark Henry with a fighting spirit. 
They are truly going at it, man. This has got to be Mark Henry's greatest match in the damn in, in the whole damn SAFW promotion so far. Oh no, the bear hug will reign. He still doesn't give up. Drags him out. I thought that was gonna be it. Power slam. Picks up baby reigns. Oh my god, this is just decimation now. That's it. Whose man is this? Where has this baby reigns been? Mark Henry now dragging him out. Sidewalk slam again, but Mark is so gassed. World's strongest slam. Do finishers do less damage? Wait, do finishers do less? Is he injured? He, he, he's fucking injured now. And he's still kicking out! He won't go down and Mark Henry has had it! How is he doing this? He's injured! He's, he's injured! We saw him rolling around! I, I'm like, I don't even know what it's like. Words are not coming, they're not formulating. Things. You can just lose, man. Jesus Christ. Just fucking lose. You've already proved yourself, dude. You're fucking hurt. He's probably going to be out for like eight months. He's probably going to be out for like damn eight months. What are we going to do? Look, dude. You can just lose. It's seriously, like, you can just lose. It's okay. You, you can't win with... You can't win! Marcus, you're dead! You are dead! Has he even used the spear once? Has he even used the spear once? Is he even gonna go in the wild cards when he's dead? Mark, just Mark. Don't you have some like crazy, like special ultimate maneuver or something? Just pin him. I'm pretty sure you can win if you just pin him. The dude's fucking dead. He's working on, on broken legs. Yeah, I knew it. No, I know that information. Oh, the Superman punch! He, oh, man, Jesus Christ. Oh, he's getting, he's getting methodical with it. He's getting methodical with it. 28, what the? What is this match? Please, God, just end it, man. It's over. It's over. Mark. He finally hit the spear. And he did it. Jesus Christ. He hit the spear and it won't enough. Mark can't even run. Mark can't even run. The man can't even run. Uranagi, 30 minutes. Leliato, running power slam. The methodical breakdown. Oh, he's calling for that fist. Okay, that's not the fist we wanted. Oh my god. What the hell is going on, Mark? Just toss him over the ropes, Mark! Toss him over the ropes, man! Just do whatever you fucking need to do! Just fucking stab him in the neck! Stab him in the eye! 
Break his leg! Sit down, power bomb! Is that enough? They're going all the way. 60 minute time limit draw. Reigns with the splash. Mark into the corner. The bear hug. Does Reigns give up? No! Are you kidding me? Using all the girth. World's strongest slam, but Mark's. God, he can't cover him because he's so gassed. We've entered a time loop, boys. The big splash. Oh my God. What the hell was that? 35 minutes, 48 seconds. Oh my God. <laughs> He's fucking hurt, dude. Baby Reigns is hurt. Oh man. You gotta be kidding me, dog. Well, I think that's uh, I think that's enough for Baby Reigns to be in the wild cards. Uh, Jesus. Proved himself worthy to be in the wild cards. I mean, he's he can be in the wild cards in the hospital, sure. That's about all you're gonna get out of that situation. He got the new contract and immediately got sat at home. Sorry, brother. <laughs> That's just how it'd be. I told you I was going to sit his ass out. All right. Now for a match that maybe won't go 40 minutes. Hernandez versus the Goku. Uh, this is a proving ground match. If Goku, if Hollywood Goku can pick up the W on Hernandez, he will get a world's championship opportunity in the very near future. <laughs> He's coming back fresh off excursion. <laughs> Timmy's still on excursion. I, does anyone remember how long we sent Timmy on excursion? Because I truly do not remember. So I guess we'll see. Your world's champion himself, Supermax Hernandez. And here comes Hollywood Goku. No more blue gimmicks. No more gimmicks. He's just all Hollywood. <laughs> Was it six months? All right, let's get this match underway. Headband ready to go. Oh, he's going for the quick jab. He learned some new stuff on excursion, I see. Throwing some knees. Okay, elbows to the legs. Going for Supermax's legs. Interesting. A lot of his strength comes from the leg bone. Leg bone connected to the head ass bone. And Goku's in control early on. Going for the shoot on him. Hernandez stepped out of the way. He's watched a few Conor McGregor matches, my brother. Stomps him in the neck. Big body slam sends him down. Headbutt action. He's got the Boston Crab. He loves to go for that, don't he? It's one of his favorite moves. You know, the world's champion. No gimmick all Hollywood. <laughs> Man, I have to figure out a way to get your glasses and shit on this dude. I have to. The jacket. There's got to be a way. When there's a will, there's a way, my brother. Lariat. Oh, and the big palm strike from Goku. It looks like Goku's busted open. Did Hernandez make him bleed hard away? This man came back from excursion, and Hernandez is going to beat the brakes off of him. Delayed vertical suplex, a la Triple H style. Down he goes. I mean, Hernandez is a pretty dominant world's champion. Just a two, though. Ooh, I thought Goku was going to go for a delayed vertical suplex of his own. That doesn't seem the case. From behind, Big Lariat drops him to the ground. Goku picks him back up with another palm strike. Hernandez tries to answer the call, but spinning Brain Buster will send Hernandez down. Goku in control now as we go into a strike contest, boys. Look how quick Goku's firing back. That big spinning back chop. Goku with the big ink on me. He's crazy. Hernandez says, bring it on. You can drop all you want. 
Oh, the big spinning border toss. That could be it. No, it's not headbutt from Hernandez. Up goes the Goku. DDT to the floor. He's going to be working that head because he's busted wide open. Up goes Hollywood. Goku, big Leliato. Hernandez picks him back up. Goku going to get control. Knee him out. And he's going to town on the back of Hernandez. Gets to a three count before Ref James breaks it up. And look at this combination from Hollywood Goku. What the hell was that? Goku just ran head first that, and he ended up hitting Hernandez somehow. After That was like 3,000 IQ. Holy shit! Goku out of control! 2.9 on the world's heavyweight champion. Good lord! Goku drops the elbow and Hernandez. This dude is crazy. What? The Leo Onazaki elbow and Goku got him. Shouts out to Leo Onazaki. Wow. I told y'all y'all that finish. I told y'all that elbow finish was crazy. Y'all didn't believe me like she was on her shit, bro. Like she ain't the king of this shit. I told y'all, dude. <sighs> oh my God, dude. Goku's definitely throwing it up, dude. This dude's crazy. Holy shit. Well, Goku's the number one contender now. He beat the world's champion with the Leo Nozaki elbow. That's crazy. Let me write that down. Goku, number one contender now after winning Proving Ground. One with Leo Onozaki. Elbow drop. <laughs> That's fantastic news. Absolutely fantastic. Back from Excursion and Goku gets a big W over the world's champion. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> He's about to come in here with the damn Red Octobers. All right, so we have Roderick and Naruto for the junior heavyweight. Let's get this underway. Honestly, I'll be real with you. Best case scenario would be Roderick losing because I really, really do not want the same situation we had with Jimmy Wang Yang where Jimmy held the junior title and then we, had, we were forced to sign him. I mean, we wanted to sign him, but we were like, our hand was forced. We, we had to pretty much... Make sure we got him. <laughs> Naruto actually had to beat him before we signed him, if I remember that correctly. Goku learned Ultra Instinct while he was out, yeah? <laughs> Crazy. Look at this from Naruto! Down goes Roderick Strong! If Roger Strong has a good showcase, I don't see why we uh, can't keep bringing him back into SAFW. I'm a big Roddy fan with the shitty little boots. Pulling Roddy out, pinned down, not gonna happen. That maneuver is just not as good as the Itabashi. Maybe Naruto should get one of those. Mr. Rod is down as Naruto hits him with the flipping senton. Backbreaker from the Messiah of Backbreakers. Big Moonsault now, Roddy down, just a one. Is End of Heartache in this game? Big Pile Driver sends Roddy down. But Roddy's going to fire back. Drops the Leo on his hockey elbow. Salute. Goes for the legs there. <laughs> Woo! And Naruto's showing off, boys. Big punch to the midsection now. Roddy brings him out to the middle. I don't know what he's going to be doing here. Oh, a big ass jumping clothesline. Roddy throws him off. Oh, I thought he was going to do into heartache, bro. I thought it was about to be it. I thought Naruto was about to lose that junior championship with the swiftness. All it takes is one. Puts Roddy down just a two count. Punch him in the stomach, but down goes Roddy. This is almost like Naruto's Itabashi. His finishing maneuver. Roddy from behind. Big forearm. Code red from Naruto as he puts him down. Gets a two count. In the corner. Ooh, back elbow from Naruto. He's going off the ropes. And he just uses that big-ass barrel chest. Big man. 
Goes for the pin, but a rope break will save Roger Strong. Oh my, look at the air he got on that, but barrel chest Naruto puts him down quick. Shooting star press gets a two. Roddy throws him into the corner. Oh, that big knee in the corner from Roddy now. Does he want Stronghold? Another backbreaker as he pulls Naruto out of the corner. Throws him over. Mini fireman's carry. And a drop kick. Nice string of moves here from Roger Strong to get the upper hand on the junior champion. And a backbreaker will send him reeling to the ground. Roddy is in control of this matchup right now. The junior champion reeling. Oh, Roddy's not going to go for no dive. He about that life. Oh, and the stronghold. He's got it locked in. No, that's not going to be enough. And now we got a strike contest. The boys are doing it. The juniors here at SAMW. And Roddy got the upper hand on the junior champion. Another backbreaker. Man, this dude's spine is probably all fucked up. Sends him down. What the hell? God damn. Big Enzigiri. Punch to the back of the neck. The Tiger Driver couldn't get it. Olympic slam. Does he, I'm still wondering if he has any heartache in this game or not. I, I've never seen it. No. Nope. Punch to the back of the neck. Drop kick from Roddy. And here we go again. Naruto sends him flipping. And a 2.9 Roddy. Oh, going for it again. Naruto had it scouted. Not going to happen. And look at the stomps. This man stomped a mud all in him. And Naruto's going to town on his E Honda shit. To the center of the ring. Naruto with the palm strike on Roddy Strong and knocked him clean out. There is a reason that Naruto is the ace of shitty as fuck wrestling. Dun dun. Roddy goes down and Naruto retains his championship for another day. Oh man, Naruto. Naruto versus Roddy. 96 percentile, 12-12. Naruto and Roddy go all out. Naruto retains. Roddy looked great doing so. Good stuff. Got the gift of one-liners and Natsu got the curse of curves. <laughs> okay, what we're not doing is cute as what we aim for lyrics <laughs> and bits. <laughs> All right, time to fence again for Naruto Uzumaki. Hit that save. Oh, now we're at the stardom exhibition match. Hanakamura versus Natsu Sumire. Sasuke won't come because Naruto's got the beef. He's got the beef, dude. The palm strike's sick. It looks really good in this game, actually. Well, I, mean, I, I appreciate the 500 bits, by the way. That's very nice of you. Very, very nice. Even though you put cues what we aim for lyrics. I don't know if you... Uh, <clears throat> I could drop a picture in the chat right now of me and a cues what we aim for shirt when I was... Was I 15 or 16? That was 10 years. Why am I so old? Damn you. <sighs> it makes me sick to my damn stomach. And here she comes down the ramp. The crowd can hear faint whispers of, fuck you, fuck you, fuck. Sorry, I don't have Mr. Saxo beat for you. I, I could play it, but we'd probably get copyright stricken in 15 seconds. So I'm probably not going to do that. Just imagine Mr. Saxo beat in your head. And you'll be fine. We'll figure it out. I'm not even sure if they'll have Natsu in the uh, DLC because she's a freelancer. She's not signed to start. I mean, it'd be cool. I'd love to have her, but we'll see if they can work a contract out with her or something. A big exhibition match. I'm surprised they both showed up, to be honest, especially Hannah. <laughs> I just expected to get an email, just just open up the dashboard of the fire promoter. It's just a big email that says, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. 
go to town on each other, man. I gotta remember that Hannah's finisher is a big boot and not the octopus hole. Hey, I got the Hannah Kimura shirt. <laughs> hey, if you hey, literally, I, like, I'm, I'm pretty much always there for the merch drops. If anyone ever wants me to pick them up anything while I'm picking stuff up for myself, I'll do it for you so you don't miss out. I'm all for helping the boys get what they want. Oh, Hannah with the face wash. We'll see if they go to the top rope. That's where. Okay. <laughs> oh, Nazu with a suit place in the center of the ring after the ha 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 camel clutch. I did not expect that. Look at these big boots. Body slam down to Natsu as Hannah looks to follow up. Oh, we got a strike contest back and forth. Tokyo Cyber Squad versus Oedo Tai. Look at the big boots just going back and forth. Big kick from Natsu now as she drops Hannah down. Got the submission hold. I'm not, I didn't, I think that Natsu's if she gets the win with that dog. I don't say I think her finish is the rampage. I didn't yeah. I don't even remember looking at it. Yeah. Oh, look at this delayed suplex, the strength of Anna. <laughs> She's bringing it all out. Look at this. Good lord. Give up. She's got her all tied up and she doesn't give up. Oh my, she's feeling herself. She is feeling herself. Oh, there, I think that's her finish. Oh, she almost just straight up clean clawed Hannah. Caught it today. She's I'm going home. Got things to do. Big strike from Natsu now. Up against the ropes. Big clothesline drops her down. They've been going for the same moves at like the same time. From behind. Bow! I thought she was going to go for a backdrop driver, to be honest, but turned into more like a back suplex. Into the corner. Ah! Hannah, is she going to send her to the outside? Delayed vertical suplex to the floor. Uh oh, it's hit. Oh, look at that. She's crazy. Back in the ring comes Natsu now. She looks to follow up on Hannah, pulls her out of the corner. Oh, she said, oh, hold on, no, no. On her Eddie Guerrero shit. Knees to the stomach now, Natsu again. Continuing the assault as Hannah looks to get the arm. Woo, she's out of control. Oh, just a two count. Oh, and the DDT just stuffed Hannah, but a rope break will save the day. Oh my, she's out of control, I'm telling you. Hannah's way out of pocket in this one. Goes for the arm again. Maybe she does have that, that octopus hold in, in mind, I'm not too sure. Oh, she died, look at this! Give up. Give up. She didn't give up. Wow, I thought she was going to because she'd been working the arm most of the match, but. Natsu's got fighting spirit. Yeah. Hannah again with that delayed vertical suplex. Doesn't send her to the outside this time. Drags her out once again. May looking to make her tap, dude. She wants to hear the words come out of your mouth. She wants to see your hand hit the mat. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Going for the leg now. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever needs to be done. Off the ropes goes Hannah now. Natsu with a big forearm, almost like an elbow. From behind, Sleeper gets her down into a dragon sleeper. What a concoction of moves. Hannah goes for the midsection kick, and we are down once again. Strike contest. Back and forth, big boot, big boot, and they're both down. Natsu dropping the leg lock here. Goes for a kick at the same time off the ropes. Big boot reversed into the corner. Natsu, big knee into the corner. Goes for the palm strike, misses. Oh, she's wild. Oh, to the place. And the DDT. And she beat her. My God. Natsu got a victory. She did it. She is not getting up. She, she's not getting up. All right. Natsu, working the leg. Soften her up for the DDT. <laughs> By God! All right, that's definitely something. Natsu collapsed in tears. She's like, I can't believe I just beat Hannah. What a fucking day. I can't believe it.
All right, 14-18. That was... <laughs> that was something. It's 5.45. Yeah, let me send that, that on the way text. <laughs> let me send that, that on the way text. <laughs> Anyways, we have to do this. Kenta Kobashi and Triple H Television Championship on the line. Kobashi is undefeated in SAFW. Triple H has... I, actually, I think he's tied. I wanted to say the most winningest, but I think he's tied with Naruto now. So he's in the top two. Loss versus the wild cards. Kobashi versus Triple H. Let's get this match underway, boys. The God himself. Dun dun. Kenta Kobashi here. The leader of Alina. Triple H. The leader of Wieners. And the television champion or whatever. Come on down. Let's get this match underway. The blood still on the mat. He's going straight for Triple H's neck. Kenta is wasting no time. Back and forth. Triple H going to get the upper hand now. Dropping the knee on Kenta's neck. But you're going to work on something else other than the neck. I'm going to tell you something right now. Kobashi's neck is invincible. Okay, I just told you, Triple H. I don't know if you heard. To the nuts. Moodalog. Okay, Triple H. Okay, the Moodalog. Huh? Is that what we're doing? Okay. Into the corner, Kobashi. The chops coming to town to Triple H. Single leg, Boston Crab. Working the leg just, uh, just like uh, Kobashi's icon, legend. This is his favorite wrestler, not Zuzumere. Working the leg, same psychology. Impressive. In the corner now, another DDT back and forth here between Triple H and Kenta Kobashi. No, Dingo's Triple H, Kobashi into the corner, and he just ate shit. Off the ropes, they're going to run into each other. Look at that two barrel-chested men in the main event. Neither will fall down as Triple H gets the full mount on Kobashi. He slaps the piss out of Triple H. He said, you get off me with that. Big burning Lariato! Into the corner. Triple H with the punches to Kobashi. He just swept off that burning lariat. And now he's dropping the headlock. He said, okay, we can play these games. We can play these games. Out from the corner now. Dropping the knee into Kobashi's nuts. Drops the figure four leg lock. Kobashi picks up Triple H again. Burning Leliato! Boo! The dude's going to town! Triple H off the ropes. Drops the double knees on Akinta. Drags him out. Another figure four leg lock. Looks like we have a lot of Natsu fans here this evening. Kobashi drags him out. Off the ropes goes Kobashi with the Leliato! Body slam to Triple H. He's trying to follow it up a burning Leliato, but Triple H answers the call. Kobashi said, bring it. Oh, he was looking for that orange crush, but Triple H had it scouted. Oh, Triple H with the lariat. Drops the knees and double time. Kobashi up. Oh, he dropped the brain buster to the floor. Spin it, bad chop. Triple H has got some layers. Oh, he's in the suck it to get to Kobashi. Uh-oh, we might get a ring out, boys. No, back in the ring. Oh, no! Pedigree to Kobashi! That could be a rope break. No, it's not! Riff James says it's not! Oh, just a two. Just a two. Kobashi kicks out the corner of Triple H off the ropes. Big elbow sends the bald man down. Looking for a lariat of his own shoulders down. Not going to happen. Kobashi too close to the ropes. Kobashi goes to Lariat. Triple H ducks underneath. A big reversal from Kobashi. This scares the hell out of me whenever they go outside. Chops sends Triple H to the ground on the outside. Triple H with a DDT stuffing his neck straight into the ground. Kobashi looks out. Wait a minute. Oh, a brain buster. And Kobashi gets back in. 
Oh, but Triple H was not woozy on the outside. Burning Lariato! Body slams his Triple H. They keep going to the outside. Oh, no! Critical! Oh, I thought it was a critical. I, th I saw the numbers change. I thought I was going to say, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that scared the piss out of me, dude. Kobashi, come on, man. Get back in the ring. Whew. Holy shit, that scared me. My heart just... Arch crash and the pin combination and he got him! Kenta Kobashi is your new SAFW television champion! Los! Woo! What a match! So now... Los Ingobernables de North America has not only the heavyweight championship of the world, they have the television championship. Whoo wee, dude, that was lit. That was a good ass match, dude. Whew. Let me write down this. Undefeated wins the title. Brings it to loss. That's crazy, dude. Lena and the wild card have heat. <laughs> Everyone's got heat. All these tables have heat with each other, man. Woo. That was a fantastic show, start to finish. Wow. Let's see how things go. I know that Reigns is hurt. I know that Reigns is hurt. All right, so Kobashi won the television championship. All right, good. I don't I don't remember when it tells you if people are hurt or not. I don't know if it tells you right there. Okay, we did fantastic on that show. Super big sellout, 87%. This rain's hurt. Ooh, we had big money on that too, baby. That's big money. We're good. Holy crap. No one got injured. I thought I, I could feel it in my... Wait, Timmy's back! <laughs> Mr. Timmy! Hey, welcome back! Charlie? The Charlie? Matt, Matt Robinson wants to... Okay. Dalton Castle and Matt Robinson. Okay. I mean... Dalton, I gave you the week off trying to... Uh, okay. And Matt Robinson. Okay, I give it to them. I like both those guys. I think they bring a lot to the table. I'm cool with that. <sighs> okay. So I think, let me see here. Baby Reigns, congratulations. Welcome to the wild cards. Now, let me check Baby Reigns really quick just to see what his statistics are. Yeah, he's... He got his ass beat. <laughs> he got destroyed. Alright. I also want to make... Let's see. Um, To make a tag team, do you just make a stable pretty much? I was going to say, I want to put... Big Bear and Jimmy in the tag team because they're fucking nuts. Charlie Hot. Okay, I'll check real quick. It was in America, right? What was his name again? Charlie? Caroline. Oh, here it is. No, Charlie Ally. Best friend. <laughs> he's, he's best friend. Good for him. Just put him in the same stable. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. so we got four stables right now. What do we? What do we? I think Jimmy and the Bear are definitely babyface. What? Uh, what do we call these dudes? Big Dickies. <laughs> oh, brother, y'all crazy. I mean, I'll do Big Dickies if you want to it. This will be the interim name for now. If we come up with something better, we'll use it. I actually don't 
I hate this name. Weirdly enough. Damn it. I gotta transfer these damn dudes out. Okay. No affiliation. Oh, shit. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. We'll just put we'll just put him there just so it doesn't disband. I don't want to span that right now. Uh, bear. Oh, now we're gonna make it. Damn this system. Big dickies. Big dickies. Damn it. <laughs> Okay. Freaking system. Big dickies. Big dickies. Big Bear and Jimmy Wang Yang. They're generating a lot of buzz. Yeah, I bet they are. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah, we're good to go. Let me see here. Um. So we're starting to get, so things I want to do in the future, I'm just going to write down. Uh, tag Team Championship introduction for sure. Um, I want to do a number one contender tournament. Um, Goku is number one contender for the World's Champ after Proving Ground match. Billy Gunn and New Jack possibly in a cage because they can't fucking stay in the ring. <laughs> Anything Chicago else, boys? Cyber Squad run. Chicago. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna probably have a good amount of stables. I want to have like four main stables. We'll figure out what we can do with that. Yeah, he has come a long way from Jimmy and Timmy. You're right on that. Um, Naito and Eugene, I say, are the tag team of, or one of the tag. So Mark Henry and New Jack are one team on loss, but I think that Naito and Eugene are like another tag team on that team because they're just fantastic. Uh, that match, I mean, that match was dumb good, and they were crazy killing each other. Uh, Naruto needs more juniors to face. Sign juniors. Because <laughs> we fucking got, like, none. Um, and I think we're good to go. Other than that. All right, boys. I think that's a good place to stop. I'm already late. <laughs> but I'm so glad that we watched Kavashi and Triple H because that was a fucking masterpiece, dude. Absolute masterpiece. Um, thank you guys for joining me here this afternoon. Thank you guys, everyone that dropped bits or, or subbed or donations. It's very nice of you guys. You know, it's, I don't ever expect stuff like that, but it's always cool to just see it. Um, thank you to everyone who came by and hung out. I appreciate you guys. This will be up on YouTube hopefully tonight. So um, I'm going to... When I get back from the gym, I'll hurry up and edit it and render it and try to get it up. It should be up maybe later this evening, so you can check for that. Uh, when it does go up, just remember to leave a like and hit a sub. Lately, YouTube has just been shit and a piss on some of my videos, so just be sure to interact, leave me a comment, like and shit. It's free. It helps. It's cool. Uh, anyways, thank you guys, and uh, catch you guys later. See you.